Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. Why you should avoid salt and sugar for babies. Salt and sugar can do more harm than good for babies. Hence, it is better to avoid them at least until the baby turns 1 year old. What is the daily requirement of salt and sugar in a baby's diet? Per day salt intake of 6 months to 1 year, less than 1 g. 1 to 3 years, 2 g. 4 to 6 years, less than 3 g. The sugar requirements of the baby can be met by foods rich in carbohydrates and other naturally sweet foods such as fruits. Why should you avoid sugar and salt in your infant's diet? 1. Excessive salt intake can impair kidney function as the infant's kidneys cannot process and eliminate high salt levels from the blood. 2. Excess sodium from salt can cause the body to excrete more calcium in the urine. This calcium can form kidney stones. 3. Excess salt intake can cause high blood pressure or hypertension. Babies who consume too much salt can develop hypertension as adults. 4. Babies who have excess salt in their bodies lose water in the form of urine and sweat, causing dehydration. 5. Too much salt consumption loses too much calcium, leading to osteoporosis which makes the bones thin and brittle. 6. Consuming excessive amounts of added sugars can cause painful cavities and tooth decay. 7. Too much sugar in the diet could result in many unused calories converted into fat and stored in the body. 8. Eating too much sugar can lead to type 2 diabetes later in life. 9. High blood sugar levels result in the overproduction of insulin, causing a sudden drop in blood sugar levels, leading to lethargy, inactivity, and tiredness. 10. High sugar consumption causes blood sugar levels to shoot up, which causes hyperactivity in children. 11. Consuming excess salt and sugar as a baby leads to a pattern of poor dietary choices later in life. 12. If babies begin to like the taste of salt and sugar, they may avoid or reject breast milk, which contains nutrients essential for the baby's growth. 13. The baby will start disliking the taste of vegetables if it is not masked by too much salt or sugar. Tips for introducing solid foods to your baby. 1. Introduce one food at a time to easily spot allergic reactions in your baby. 2. Puree everything so that your baby can eat the food easily. 3. Use spoons made of plastic or silicone instead of silverware, as they will be better for the baby's tender gums. 4. Don't try to overfeed the baby. When the baby stops enjoying the food or avoids eating, you should stop feeding him. Commercial baby foods contain unnecessary added sugar. and processed foods contain high amounts of salt check the ingredients carefully to determine the salt and sugar content if you use commercial baby food and keep your baby healthy by giving homemade food without added salt or sugar